Jesus said, to be in the world but not of the world. Can you be part of society and not be of society? So that you don't have any qualms about this society, let it be. And then your presence, what you say, what you do, your thoughtfulness, your kindness, that's enough. That's enough. It's simple. But we'll have to start with the course of undoing. We may not be able to do it. And then here is the course, the first scripture ever that has a step-by-step -step curriculum. I used to wonder what were these prophets doing, you know, years ago? Why couldn't have somebody thought about where to begin? You know. So. You start the first lesson, it says, nothing I see means anything. Now, can you believe that? <laughs> nothing I see means anything. Because, you see, so then there are so many deeper questions about it. What is it that I see, and how do I see? Are you with me? So you don't say yes, and you don't say no, you question. Do I really see anything, or how do I see it? <laughs> the fact of seeing is that we see things through thought. We have never probably ever seen anything direct. We see through thought. This is a plant, this is mine, this is yours. You've given it names, shapes, forms. You've given it meaning. And if I don't know the name, I want to know the name. A big deal, as if you've seen it. <laughs> There's no direct contact with it. I said, my God, I've been blind all my life. Can you afford to see that? It's going to bring you into crisis. You need cigarette packs and whiskeys and all kind of video, anything to evade that crisis. We are so afraid of uncertainty, we live by conclusions. Can you give yourself the space that you're not afraid of uncertainty? If you're afraid of uncertainty, you'll never know what trust and faith is. You'll never know what vulnerability is. So I spent 100 days with this in a quiet place by myself and wanted to make sure that it wasn't at the level of just learning it. So one insisted and found that I don't, nothing I see means anything because I name it, I like it, I don't like it, it's green, it's blue, I prefer this. I said, oh God, and there's no way to get rid of it, it just goes on. And then you have to discover that how you have to change your lifestyle, that you dissipate energy. Because to silence the brain, you need energy. These are discoveries you make when you look one lesson. Everything begins to change if you have passion now to live a life that's true. It's not for the casual. You can't fit it into your scheme of things. You have to fit into it, a broader view. So as you go along with this, it begins to sort of unfold that why is it so? It says, I see only the past. Now this opens up a totally different world. I see only the past. I never knew that I was only living, perpetuating the past to my dying day. Can you imagine that I'd never been in the present? I'm projecting the future, living in the past. You know very few people have ever been in the present. This is preoccupied all the time. Even if you're in the present, you say, I love it, it's so nice. I, you, you never leave it alone. <laughs> so it's going to take some kind of wisdom Wisdom is the knowledge of your own reality. 